Vicky, what a surprise. Um, fortunately, I haven't much time. Well, this won't take long. Fine. What do you want? <laughs> I, uh, I heard that you are stepping down as mayor. No. I'm stepping up and in for a senator. Yes, they've asked me to take over for him and then run for his vacant seat. I have to leave for Washington in an hour. Ah. Well then, this is goodbye. Goodbye. I mean goodbye. You mean good riddance. I'm surprised you're here. I thought you were going to have me blacklisted for trying to help you when Clint was having his heart attack. You were not trying to help me, Dorian. You just wanted proof that you were right. I was right. And that's all that matters. I provided the proof that made you dropkick Charlie all the way to Paris, Texas. Dorian, why didn't you just come to me with your suspicions? All of this could have been avoided. I tried, Vicky. I tried over and over again to warn you that Echo de Savoy was not to be trusted. But you withheld treatment from Clint? Do you know that waiting as long as you did did damage to his heart that is beyond repair? Oh, really? And when did you get your medical degree? In point of fact, I saved that man's life. No, you did not. Gigi's heart saved his life. Thanks to me, Charlie is out of your life, and now there is plenty of room for Clint to recuperate at Lanfair. One thing has nothing to do with the other. Good to know, because you see, it looks very convenient. Dorian, Clint has no home. As you very well know, Rex took it from him. The judge sentenced him to house arrest. He had no house to go to. Mm. He's the father of my children. Of course I had to take him in. You're so full of it. Saint Victoria. <laughs> Always taking the high road. Never mind that you have a beast of a husband who has destroyed your family's happiness, who caused Jessica to have another nervous breakdown, who nearly cost my husband his life. No matter, no matter. No, no, no. St. Vicky has her man. Hallelujah. All is well with the world. What are you talking about? I don't have Clint. And I didn't have David for months and months. Because of Clint, because Clint had him kidnapped and made it look like David had left me at the altar. David could have died in that prison of tortured disease. Who knows what if Bo had not found him. It's really sad. What's sad is that David thinks you are his best friend. Dorian, I was appalled by what Clint did to David and to you because I know perfectly well how much you suffered when you thought David had walked out on you. Clint deserved to be convicted on all counts. Then why isn't he serving out his sentence in the Statesville infirmary? Because Statesville is just not equipped to handle a heart recipient. Dorian, he would die in jail, okay? And as awful as his crimes were, he doesn't deserve a death sentence. Mm -hmm. So instead, he gets to lounge around Landfair, everybody waiting on him hand and foot, gets his meals prepared by your cook, his family surrounding him. How is that fair? After everything he did to David, to Jessica, to me? Well, his family has forgiven him. I have not, and I will not. The man is a cruel, heartless, Bastard! I used to respect you, but the fact that you are coming to his rescue, that you have forgiven him, is making me sick. Okay, I understand your feelings. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was thinking. I came here to wish you well. Uh, you've been a really good mayor. I hope you will be a terrific senator. Mm -hmm. So good luck and goodbye. Good luck and goodbye to you, too. Oh, good God. What is it? Well, when you so theatrically slammed the door, you jammed it shut. It won't open. Oh, please. Allow me. No, no. 
This... <laughs> this cannot be happening. We can't be trapped together again. I'm afraid we are. Oh, wait. Is this some kind of practical joke? Dorian, in all the years that you have known me, have I ever, ever played a practical joke? Well, you are rather challenged in the humor department. All I wanted was to wish you well. Now all I want is to get away from you. And I can't. Well, we'll just see about that, shall we? Excuse me. Everyone. They've left for the day. Oh, but we can call someone. No, 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 use your cell phone. My cell phone's in the car. Oh. Use your cell phone. Fine. My cell phone is in the car. You have an office phone, a landline. There's no dial tone. You need a security code. And the code would be? How would I know? I'm the mayor. I have people who do things like that for me. OK, well, there must be a way to reach building security, right? Of course there is. But I never do, because I have a private security card. And where is he? waiting for me in the car. I told him I had things to do and that I might be a while. Well, 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 well. As absurd as it seems, it would appear that we are indeed, once again, trapped. <laughs> oh, my. Some help! How many times has this happened to us? Too many. But I suppose it's only fitting, right? One more go around with my nemesis. Oh, no, 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 no. You are your own nemesis. I'm probably a, a frenemy. Oh, I hate that. No, I, I hate those verbal mashups. It's just all so trendy, isn't it? Frenemy, frenemy. Isn't that uh, when you're enemy acts like they're your friend only that's not quite us is it no no it's not i don't know quite what us is but i thought that lately we had come to sort of an understanding but it hasn't been easy has it no it hasn't and it hasn't been boring <laughs> you're going to be bored to tears without me ah. And you, you're going to be in desperate trouble without me watching over you in Washington. I expect you'll be censured by Christmas. Oh, goody. I can be expecting calls from you on Capitol Hill? Oh, no, no, Dorian. Don't forget that I can watch the Senate proceedings on television, and I will be able to see exactly what you are up to. So that should give you pause. Oh, it's terrifying. It must be so exhausting for you. You know, keeping us all in line. Just you. It isn't always my fault, and I thought you had finally come to understand that. Yes. I did spend a long time blaming you for my father's death, and I am... I'm truly sorry about that. You know, Dorian, you are my friend. And in a very odd way, I love you. And I'm truly sorry if I've caused you pain. I hate you. I hate that you just said that. I wanted to be the bigger person. So be it. <laughs> I'm forgiven. Lucky me. I think I'm going to miss you. I know I'm going to miss you.
Brian, you know I can't drink that. Oh, come on. The sip isn't going to kill you. Come on, for me. All right, please. Okay. To us. I cannot imagine what life is going to be like without you. I can't imagine what life or land view is going to be without you. <laughs> as much as I would like to think, life will grind to a halt, life will indeed go on. It won't be the same. Neither will I. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't be going there. Come on, to us. as a symbol of my renunciation and I am only going to do good for others. I rarely see this side of you. I promise you won't tell anyone. I won't tell. I won't tell. I promise. I won't. Another one. Oh, I know you. Yes, of course you know me. From television. You know, your father warned me about you. Father warned you about me? I intend to fight you with every means of it. These are the moments About your father, about what you have obviously buried somewhere deep inside of you. Stop. 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 The truth, Vicky, come on! Victor seduced you! Your father had sex with you! That is the awful truth! I just want to tell you that I think that you are brave beyond belief for doing what you did today. my life hell over and over again. What are you doing? But in a very real and profound way. Will you be my matron of honor? You have made my life. Can't get married without these, can you? You saved my life. Thanks. You're very welcome. I will miss you. <laughs> My hot rescuer, mm. Vicar Man. <laughs> so, is this really goodbye? Goodbye, Vicky. Bye, Dorian. Look at you two, being all dramatic. I was texting, video messaging. There's even this antique thing called the telephone. It, it won't, won't be, be the same. <laughs> so you'll plan a spa day. You'll figure it out. Wish me luck. Always. <laughs> I'm going to get my star on that sidewalk, so when I get back to L.A., people are going to walk all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Just take my calls. That's all I ask. And the same goes for you, Madam Senator. Have your people call my people. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we, David? Mm. That door, by the way. Well, you know that expression, one door closes, another door opens? I don't know about that, my shoulder hurts. I need to rub down. It's shorter than an hour and a half. Sound like a job.